we want to use our cart variable and we need to map through it. And inside of this callback function, we want an item parameter and an index parameter. Keep in mind, since we're using map here, you want to make sure that you just use normal parentheses. And inside of here, we need to create a div with a class product in cart. And for each product, it needs to have a unique key value. So we'll just make this equal to the index. Create another div with a class of product in cart left. We want to include an image element here. And at this point, we want to start dynamically rendering information. So what we want to do is use our item dot image URL. So this is extremely similar to how we rendered everything onto our products page. But now we want to render it onto our cart page if we have it selected. And for our alt, we want to say item dot alt. And now you guys are going to see that I'm having an error here and it's because I made the mistake of not adding my properties to this component inside of curly braces. So if I go ahead and add them as curly braces, you guys will see it show up correctly now. Tap here for more.